Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can sign up and start watching Hulu content. It's a relatively easy process and I'll link their website right at the top of the video description so you can access the page that I'm currently on and I'll walk you through step by step how you can sign up for Hulu and some of the different options that you have. Now, before going through the sign up process, you just want to make sure that you have devices that are going to be compatible to watch Hulu through and Hulu does an excellent job of offering a wide array of different devices that you can watch their content through. I'll also link this right at the top of the video description if you want to check out all of these devices that are compatible just to quickly run through them android smartphones and tablets as well as android tvs apple tv chromecast echo show amazon fire tablets and amazon fire tv and fire tv sticks iPhones and iPads, as well as smart LG TVs, Nintendo Switch, Mac and PC browsers, PlayStation 3 and 4, and I'm assuming the upcoming PlayStation 5, Roku TV, as well as Roku Stick and Roku devices, smart Samsung TVs, Vizio SmartCast TVs, Windows 10 computers, as well as the Xbox 360, Xbox One, and the coming up Xbox Series X, I would assume also is going to have Hulu compatibility. So those are the different devices that you can watch Hulu through. Again, essentially, if you have more modern day technology devices or smart TVs, you're going to be able to access this content. Now I'm going to walk you through how you can sign up just for the basic $5.99 a month Hulu package, which gives you access to a bunch of different movies, Hulu original series, as well as all of the other different shows that are available on their platform. But if you also want live TV in addition to this Hulu TV service, you can click on this option over here, the select plan. Then you can also give it a seven day free trial to see if you end up utilizing that more expensive live TV option that's going to have more traditional type television options for you to watch. But again, in this one, I'm going to walk you through how to sign up for the $5.99 a month Hulu plan. So right here, you're just going to click select on the $5.99 a month option. It is their most popular option, but if you want, and if you have the extra money, I definitely recommend signing up for Hulu with no ads, which is $11.99 a month. I've had both Hulu and Hulu with no ads, and I have to say the no ads experience is a lot better, so if you can fork out the extra five bucks a month, I think it's actually worth it, um, but nonetheless, the $5.99 a month plan gives you access to the same library of content. It just has advertisements inside of that content that you're watching, and outside of that, also something to keep in mind, if you want Hulu along with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, you can package all those three services together for $12.99 a month. And to sign up for that, you need to do it over at Disney Plus's website. So if you select that right here, it'll take you over to Disney Plus's website to sign up for that offer. But if you're not interested in the extras of Disney Plus and ESPN Plus, then just go ahead and click select right here on the $5.99 a month Hulu option. Now, if you already have a Hulu account, you can log in here in the upper right-hand corner, but if you need to create an account, then go through and fill out all of that relevant information right here and click continue at the bottom. Now, if you wanna sign up for that Hulu Disney Plus ESPN Plus package, make sure that you're using the same email on all of those accounts for it to work properly. So I'm gonna pause the video right here, log into my Hulu account, and then walk you through the rest of this process. All right, guys, so then on the next page, it's going to have the subscription that you chose, how much it's going to cost per month, and how much you're going to have to pay today. If you're in a free trial, then you shouldn't have the full subscription price due today, but since I've already had Hulu in the past, I'm not eligible for the free trial, but then you have to enter in your credit debit card options here, all of that information, and then after you do that, go ahead and click Submit. And then that should sign you up for your Hulu subscription that you selected. So I'm going to type in that information and then take you over to the next page. And then it takes you to the next page here where it shows you your current plan. And if you scroll down, you can add on things like HBO, Showtime, Cinemax, or Stars. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Skip. And then at this point, you're officially signed up with your Hulu subscription. It takes you over to the Hulu.com page that has all of their different content right at your fingertips. You can browse to see different networks, TV shows, movies, Hulu originals, and kids content, and then also filter it by these different categories. And if you find shows or movies that you'd like to watch, you can save them 
and they will show up in the My Stuff area, and that should be accessible no matter what Hulu platform that you're watching that content through. So I hope this video was helpful in terms of walking you through the process of how to sign up and watch Hulu content. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and hope to see you guys back here for future videos.